Good morning. Yeah. So, <laughs> first of all, we're both wearing stripes today, apparently, that I'd not picked up on up until now, but that's fine. I'll put my jumper on later. I think that's a cool mountain. Like, so, the embankment thing that we're about to go through that I've now conveniently turned my time lapse off for. Look at that. Just you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you're not seeing the view. We're seeing the view. This is what us seeing the view looks like. <laughs> 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 so, hello everyone. Um, I got a bracket for the car, so I'm not holding it. So hopefully it's less shaky. Neither am I. Wow, wow. See, no one's driving either because you just saw all four hands. Um, so we're in our hire car, and I thought this would be worth mentioning. I don't know if it became in the video, but when you get back, <laughs> wait, it's relevant. You see. When you get back from a holiday, you just remember all the good stuff that happens. You don't remember, like, if you got sick or, like, how you were feeling emotionally because, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, I'm so tired. I felt, like, a bit hungover for three days. How many days have we been here? Two days? Um, but I'm not. I'm just not dealing as well with the jet lag as I thought maybe. Yeah. Anyway, so yesterday we went, um, we spent the day with mum and dad. We had um, breakfast at this place, my old Dutch, which had these crepes in the biggest plates. And I tried to take photos, I'll put a photo here, of the pancakes. But it doesn't, there's nothing really in the photo to indicate the size of it. Like, there's nothing to. It was like a pizza. Yeah. It was so big. The plates were insanely heavy. So that was really good. And then we went for a bit of a walk and then we went to the Churchill War Rooms, which was very interesting. Um, a couple of the numbers on my clicky thing were broken, so I couldn't listen to any sort of audio bit that had a five or an eight in it. So and, that, the, and the hand, handheld thing you're talking about. Yeah. I don't know, the, the audio thing. guide, sorry. Yeah. I was there, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you don't. Um, and then we went to Harrods, where we did a tea table thing, um, which was really cool. So I'll put some snippets of that all somewhere. Maybe that was in the last video. Who knows? I don't know how I'm editing this yet. Um, and then after the tea rooms, we went to... Uh, the tea tailor. We went to afternoon tea. We went to the Jean Georges. Um, is that how you'd say that? <laughs> it's George. <laughs> it's Fred George. <laughs> so it's G E A N hyphen George with an S at the end. So would you say like Jean Georges? <laughs> or Jean George's. <laughs> How would you pronounce Why that? Why are those the only two options? <laughs> okay, what what alternative? What would you? How would you pronounce it? I'd say that Jean is right. Yeah, but would you say Jean George? I don't know. These French, they just drop off so many of the letters. We're not in France. Yeah, but the French word. I don't have a word like that long. Maybe it's Jean Georges. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this is offensive. Uh, to who? French people. <laughs> anyway, so we did that. We had a high tea at Jean Jean Georges at the Connor. And um, um. At the where? The Connor. Connaught. And, and so, uh, a lot of the people working there were French. Oh. And um, I don't want to single her out, but one in particular, she was very nice. Lovely. But they were all lovely. She sort of explained. They thanked me when they put their plates down on our table, <laughs> like I was doing them a favour. I've never been thanked so much for doing so little, but she sort of explained what was happening and then walked away in and all four of us looked at each other. Left onto A40 but, towards Oxford. All four of us sort of looked at each other like, who got that? And like, no one knew what she Dad's said. like, translate. <laughs> <laughs> she meant well. She meant well, yeah. The, the service there was excellent to the point where, you know, we weren't turning on our own taps in the bathroom. And no, that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. Um, so that was a thing. Um, but no, we had 
the food there was really lovely and, and you know, we felt very extravagant there for a minute. And then we went to um, a pub and we had a drink. I think it was called the Jon Snow. Yeah, it was called the Jon Snow. But none of the paraphernalia on the inside said Jon Snow. It wasn't spelt like Jon Snow. And it was, Jon was spelt normally with an H. It was Jon Snow. And it, oh, is it not? It doesn't in have one an H mile, in it. keep left in the, in the on way 40 towards I, I reckon it was called up. There was nothing to do with Game of Thrones, which I think. There was just uh, Jon Snow. Because if it was Game of Thrones, they would have spelled it right. Yeah, and it would have had something to do with it. Yeah. And then, it was cool, it had like a saloon door, so you had to like duck to get in, anyway. Yeah, the saloon door. And then we went to the Shard, where we watched the sun sort of set, but then we were tired, so we went home. Yeah. And now is another day, and we are spending the day in Cotswolds. I will try to get some footage today, it's hard to kind of get back into the swing of things of videoing. Um, Obviously, I've not done this since Sorry. we were in, well, since Noosa, which was the start of last year, so like a year and a half ago. What's the speed limit, do you think? 70? In one mile, keep right. Miles per hour. <laughs> so we've got a, when we went to pick up the car, I don't know if I've covered this in a video, um, they tried to get it, like, upsell us to pay extra for GPS, oh, and we said no. That's not entirely fair. I asked about GPS. I said, does the car have GPS? And he said no. How much it was, so it wasn't just a cold. Up it wasn't a cold. Uh, okay. But he did still say no. It doesn't have GPS. Would you like to pay for it? Turns and I out, said no. It does have GPS. But before we go get to the Cotswolds, we're stopping momentarily in Oxford because we're going to go to the Borderlane Border Library and um, uh, Christchurch. The High Five Harry Potter. To look at the hall there, which is what they. Base the Great Hall from Harry Potter! What do you mean based it on? It's the Great Hall. It's not. Aren't we going to Hogwarts right now? I'm trying to um, stop people from knowing where, like, the bunkers where the Hogwarts is. <laughs> the Hogwarts. <laughs> I'm going to start video right now. Oh! First International! What was it? I don't know, it was a blue and white flag. Was it a cross? I don't know. Come back! Come back! <laughs> He's going so fast! I tried to find a sports car and I hiked one day. <laughs> a hybrid Hyundai. A hybrid Hyundai. Um, it looked like it, had, it was like a blue base with some white lines on it. I'm actually not speeding yet, so... <laughs> he is. <laughs> You're witnessing a car chase. <laughs> Live. I want to I wanna know what our first international vehicle sighting is. <laughs> He's going so fast! We'll catch up to him. Depends how slow the driving is. This is nice. This is nice. I should turn the camera around so you can see what we're doing. I thought I could drive though, and I'm trying to get a drive. Yeah, you're doing great. I want to get on this video, and then I'm going to stop videoing. It's getting old. Yeah. Oxford. Oxford. Blue with a white cross. Sweden. But the driver was on that side. Ah. We saw a Swedish. We saw a Swedish Are plane. you sure it was blue? I thought it was black. The, the behind us now after all that. Okay, can you see that if it has it on his front plate? No, he's behind me now. Should we finish this video? Oh yeah, okay. Um, now you'll see something else. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Church in Oxford, and this is what um, the Great Hall from Harry Potter is based off of. I don't know where our pictures are, I can't find them. I found your picture. It's take, here. take a thing of that, <laughs> put it on the wall. Yeah, that's quite a fireplace. It is, yeah. You get your name at that fireplace. I want to have my meal in here. Yeah. 
Thank you. 